In this presentation, we're going to enter the data from the payroll register to the earnings records. We're going to do this for the second month of operations for our problem, that being the month of September. We can see the uh, payroll register on this side. The earnings records, we're going to have to scroll over to the right. We tried to put them on the same worksheet, uh, which hopefully will be easier than having uh, two different tabs, but we still have to scroll around a bit. Note the earnings record is in order by the name of the employee and then the pay period. If we scroll back to the um, payroll register, it's in order by the pay period and then the employees. So we're reversing the ordering in order to get the detail by employee rather than by pay period. Now we need to be very careful to make sure that we're picking up the data from September and not another time period as we go over and pull this information. So to do that, we could try to do something like highlight, possibly change the color of uh, the pay period we're on. So I'm going to I'm going to highlight our pay period here and just right click and go to make it uh, make it green or something and say, hey, this is this is where we're pulling the data from. And we could do that even for, for the whole thing. We might just want to go through the whole thing here. Just highlight the entire process and say right click, make it some different color like green. So now we're going to say, yeah, that's the one. That's where we want to pull the data from. Make sure that we're getting the data from the right period. It's very common to to mix that up. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll up a bit, and I want to keep the header rows here, whether I'm on the payroll register or the earnings record. So to do that, let's freeze the panes. So you want to be all the way to the top, and then you want to put your cursor on. We're going to put our cursor on A4, and then we'll go to the View tab up top. We'll go to the Windows Group. And then we'll go to freeze panes and then within freeze panes we will freeze the panes and there we have no more panes or the panes are frozen and so we're going to scroll down and there we have it so now we're, we're on this record and we can see that the headers will will uh, follow with that now if we go back to our earnings records the pane is frozen too because it was on the same cell we're still gonna have to scroll up and down here a bit and we're gonna get used to this, the panes, you know, scrolling up and down with us. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the filing status for Anthony. So we're in Anthony's earnings record for the second month, the month of September. And it's the same data. So all we gotta do is use formulas to pull this information over. So within cell AB5, we're just gonna say this equals, and then I'm gonna scroll to the left Scroll down to the green data, and we're going to pull in that M in cell B12 and enter. So if we scroll up just a bit, we pulled over in cell AB5. We pulled over the information from B12. Now we can just copy that information over. Now I don't want to autofill it over, it'll, and it'll pull all the data that we want because it'll, that'll change the formatting. So we're gonna right click and copy. We're gonna select every other cell and then let go, right click and paste formulas only, just the formulas. We don't want the, the formatting, just the formulas and boom, it'll take it over and it pulls over the next cell each time, which is exactly what we want. It should be formatted perfectly to pull that over. And now what we're going to get here is we're able to tell our employee on the earnings record, not just what they earned that pay period, but what they earned year to date. So that's the point. Now we've got the summary by employee rather than a summary by pay period. Now we'll do the same thing for uh, Cindy. So we're down here in Cindy and we're going to say for the month of September, we're in AB 12. We're going to say equals and scroll to the left. We're looking for the green data for Cindy. There it is. We're going to pull this M right there for married and enter. So there we have it. So there's the M. It's pulling from uh, B13. Now we'll just right click on that and copy it. And we're going to highlight the rest of the area. Let go, right click and paste formulas only. So there we have that. And once again, we got all the data. Uh, in terms of total earnings and total earnings to date, total earnings for the pay period, total earnings to date, total earnings for the pay, um, total, total OASDI, Social Security, for the pay period, and to date, total Medicare for the pay period, and to date.
net pay for the pay period and to date. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the next employee and do the same thing. It's gonna be great. So now we're on Jill Jackson. We're on AB19. We're gonna say equals. Scroll to the left. Scroll up to the green data. There's Jill Jackson. We wanna pull that S over. So we'll say equals. And there's, there's the S that we want. Gonna scroll down just a bit. Now we're just gonna copy that. Right click and copy. Select the data to the right of it. And then right click and paste the formulas. So there's gonna be that data. And once again, we have the totals here for the net pay and we've got the year to date total for, for everything. So we'll do this, uh, I believe one more time. So we're now on uh, Judy Jones in AB26. We're gonna say equals. I'm gonna scroll to the left. I'm gonna scroll up to the green data and there's Judy Jones. So we're gonna say enter. And uh, now we're just gonna pull that over. So the M in there is coming from uh, B15, so B15. So now we can right click on it and copy it. Select the area to the right. And then let go, right click and paste just the formulas only. And that'll sum everything up for us. I'm gonna make these a little bit larger. So there we have that. So there's gonna be our information. We could check this now with our totals down here. Remember we, we uh, could total everything up. So our, our total numbers. And these are summing up each total for each individual. So in this case, we have total earnings of 96, uh, 973. If we were to do that over here now, we'd have to total up our totals for all the payroll registers now we'll sum up the totals in the payroll register. So we're gonna go all the way to the bottom here. We're gonna put in a total for the year for the payroll register. Now to do this, what we're gonna do is unfreeze the panes first. So I'm gonna go up to the, to the view tab, windows group, freeze panes, and select that. And we're gonna unfreeze the panes. That'll make it a little bit more screen that we can see. Then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna put our cursor in F41 and say equals and then scroll back up and I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to use a fairly long formula we're just gonna just to put every it's a simple formula however <laughs> so we're gonna say here's the total for um, the first pay period August plus here's the total for the second pay period so F9 plus F16 plus here's the formula up top and then we're gonna go down here's the formula for uh, October here's the formula up top so F23 plus here's uh, November at F30 plus uh, December at F37 and enter. So if we see that data, here's the actual formula equals F9 plus F16 plus F23 plus F30 plus F37. And that gives us our total. Now I'm just gonna copy that and it's the same relative formula for the rest of, the, of our totals here. So we can just put this to the rest of our totals. Just gonna select our totals column or row down here let go right click and paste and I can just paste the first one uh, because it should the format should be the same and so there's our total so it brings down the totals if we double click on it I'm gonna make this a little bit larger here so we can see it if we double click on anything it should just bring down the totals looks like it's doing what we want it to do so now we can see that our, our total for what is this gross total earnings is uh, 96,930, For our register, if we pull that over to our total earnings record, 96,642. And that's regular earnings. And then, and then we have total earnings is this 96,973. So 96,973 here. And if we scroll back over, we've got the 96,973. The other one to check, just to check one of these numbers, uh, the best one to check would probably be the net pay so net pay is this 55 9 71 34 and so we probably should check all of them but this net pay is is uh you know the sum 55 9 71 34 so that looks pretty good looks looks like we're tying out here and we just reformatted this data in order by employee rather than by pay period Last thing we'll do is just ungreen this September area. So I'm back up here on, on B12. 
So I'm kind of scrolling around a bit. So B12. I'm going to highlight this information and make it blue again. So I'm going to select it and then right click on it. Select this little uh, paint area. Now I have blue selected. If you don't have it there, this color blue, it's not on the wheel. It's not here. If you go to the more colors at the bottom and if you go to the standard colors, you'll get this little wheel thing. And I'm picking up this one right there. So that's the one we're using and enter. Uh, other than that, of course, you could also go down here and format paint. If, if that was easier to do, you can format paintbrush this up here. Just make sure you don't uh, format paintbrush uh, the, the, the other format. I mean, in other words, if you were to do it that way, make sure you pick up the whole data set like this and then format paintbrush and then pick up the full data set here so that you're not formatting one cell's format because that'll format more than just the color, in other words. So there we have that. And then I'm going to remove the color here. So this one's just white. So that one or clear. So it's not actually white, so be careful here. It should be no fill, no fill down here. All right, so that's it.